What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. And Katie. Welcome to the part of Miami where the rich Cubans live. Miramar, Miami Lakes, the area north of Hialeah, is where the rich Cubans who think they're poop don't stink live. These are the types of Cubans that feel like they're better than the other Cubans because they got more money than them. So we're going to show you guys where the rich Cubans live. Now there's also a pocket of uh, wealthy Hispanics south of Miami. But for the sake of this video, we're going to focus on this area as well. Miami Lakes is uh, known for, f like Hialeah is south of us. In Hialeah, there's like 200,000 Cubans that live there. 200,000 Cubans. Uh, it's uh, quite the situation there. But uh, then you got the ones that live in Miami Lakes in this area over here. And it's kind of like the suburban part of the suburban part. So these people here, they think their poop don't stink. I feel like all them other Cubans in Hialeah are a bunch of starving savages from the third world. And they're just that much better because they live in the suburbs. So um, even to the point where like Miami Lakes wanted to... Um, <clears throat> Miami Lakes wanted to get rid of... Um, of the roads that connect Mahalia. They, they literally wanted, there's like major thoroughways that run right north to south through there. And the people in Miami Lakes were trying to get rid of um, of the, like they just wanted to block off. Like they, just, they wanted like just to like, like have a canal between them and their poor people. Not even poor, it's just like they feel like they're better. And they didn't even want like, this is a real thing. They wanted to build a wall between Miami Lakes and Mahalia. Like y'all stay over there. And we're gonna be over here. So they would inconvenience themselves. So they wouldn't have to deal with Hylia. It sounds like Alabama. Yeah, it does. It sounds <laughs> it doesn't sound quite right, but that's nonetheless the case. That's that's nonetheless the situation going on here. So there's a few areas here. There's Miramar Country Club. Palm Springs North, and of course the infamous Miami Lakes, all nestled on the uh, between uh, Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Well, let's look at some stats about Miami Lakes real quick. We're not quite to Miami Lakes. Miami Lakes, and there's there's all there's like Kendall is a suburban Hispanic area that's really nice. There's other um, Hispanic suburban areas that are nice. Kendall, um, you know, there's a bunch. Coral Gables, you know, Katie. Yeah. Wake up, boy. I know. They're gonna road rage you if you keep driving this slow. So Miami Lakes is a suburb of Miami. It's an incorporated town with uh, thirty-one thousand people. Uh, demographically, let's see here. It's 10% uh, W and 84% H. So it's mostly Hispanic. And um, 3% black. So there's not too many blacks around here. Um, Sadly, the, the, the demographics are, are kind of really uh, old from the year 2000. I'm going to guess it's changed a lot since then. But back then, it says here that um, they had a lot of Cubans, Colombians, Dominicans, and there's a Venezuelan community. There's a, a few, uh, there's a famous poker player, a famous baseball player. Dong Shula, football defensive back and coach. Now he's a big name out here. And Sarah Sidner, correspondent for CNN. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, the Miami Lakes area. Passing Country Club and also. Carroll City's right outside of here. Carroll City is actually just a little area that's kind of, um, you know, it, it used to be 
bad back in the day, but it's really changed a lot for the better. It's still part of the Miami Gardens area, which is very high crime rate. So this is weird because on one side of the road, you have a black area that has a lot of crime, and it's been strongly gentrifying for the better. Even though they, they still have a huge crime problem, but at least, you know, the, the real estate's gentrifying and getting more expensive. Um, black people with a lot of money from other places are moving out here. And on the other side, you have, like, a Hispanic rich area. So it's kind of, kind of a, a weird division here between blacks and Hispanics. It's a very strange area, the way it's laid out. I'd love to look at a race map of this area and just kind of understand it better. So most of Miramar, it's kind of a, a, a divisive line here. On 57 right now. And uh, it's kind of like a divisive line between black and Hispanic here. So you're kind of riding anything kind of towards Miami here. Anything to the left of us will kind of be mostly black. Anything to the right will be Hispanic. And then Davie is mostly white heading towards Broward. So like the neighborhood lines here are very, very defined. Like literally you got some neighborhoods that are 80% Hispanic and on the other side of the road, it's 80% black. So it's very well defined the neighborhoods around here. Kind of odd. So we just passed, everything on the right is Car towards Carroll City, and everything to the left is kind of like the suburban Miami Lakes. Miami Lakes starts up ahead, Palm Springs North, all of that. But it's hilarious how Miami Springs, um, which is kind of like a, a suburb, I mean Hialeah is a suburb of Miami, so Miami Springs is like a suburb of a suburb. Can you imagine how good the peacock bass has to be in that little canal right there? I can just see peacock bass right there. That's one thing about, that's really amazing about South Florida is you get into these canals, you don't know what the crap is in there. Peacock bass, Brazilian fish, you don't even know what is in these waters out here. You go fishing here, you can catch all types of crazy stuff. They got pacus, which are like these giant South American fish. Uh, they're huge. I mean, like they're like, like they're like three feet long, and they're wide and huge and fat. It looks like a dinner plate. It looks like a giant turkey dinner plate. I love those canals, man. I should have brought my fishing pole. Could have been out there for hours. Me and you fishing together, baby. Me and you fishing together. Me and you go fishing in the dark in the day. I hate this traffic. I know. Traffic makes you feel bad. You know, these people just all get the crap out of my way. I know. I know, baby. I wish the car could fly so the car can not make you crazy. And then we could be wherever we need to be in two minutes. I have to drive now. I want to go fishing. No. You can go Walmart around here to buy a fishing pole. If you wanted me to stop so that you could pick up the wheel, we could do that. You'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, so once we cross this intersection, we'll be in Miami Lakes. And to be fair, there are nice, 
it's a really nice area Miami Lakes it's a really nice area so basically the biggest we're kind of between Miami Gardens and Hialeah it's kind of like a suburban complex here and then Opal Lock is not too far away So we're by the Miami Opelaka Ex Executive Airport. It's executive. This is one thing that sucks about living in Miami. Like it literally takes hours to drive inches. Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. <laughs> well, you wouldn't find that in Miami. <laughs> oh, the stomach issues you could get there. <laughs> Some people like that. Dude, this sucks. We should have stayed on the interstates. <laughs> People are always asking, why don't you guys ever do this area? I'm like, this is why we this never do this. This is why. Why we never do this area. <laughs> you're, you're looking at it right now. We're on Red Road. So we'll be in Hialeah soon. We'll be driving by Miami Lakes. Miami Lakes has some really nice areas too, but we're not going to. Do you want to drive into the nice part of Miami Lakes? Not really. You want to stay on Red Road and go right through Hialeah? Yeah. There's like a nice town center with buildings and. Uh, yeah, I want to stay on Red Road. Oh, too bad. There's a Mr. Arepa. The Cuban Vegan Miami. That sounds interesting. There's a Mr. Arepa. The Mr. Cuban Vegan. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I want to find out what vegan Cuban food is like. To Miami Lakes Drive, you'll take a right. Okay. And we're going to Miami Lakes so they can see like the fancy, uh, you know, all the fancy crap. But I, I do want to start the video out here so you guys can kind of see this. The good thing is, I think once we get closer to Miami, the traffic will be heading the other way. So it shouldn't be too hard to get into Miami once we get closer. Oh, Hialeah will be a nightmare either way. Let me see Miami Lakes to go right. Traffic 
traffic sucks. That's the old block on airport right there on the left. This absolutely sucks. You got it. <laughs> Don't cry, man. I'm actually gonna use my turn signal to let the vehicle behind me know <laughs> what I am doing and not just leave it as a mystery. <laughs> a mystery. Like the most like industrial downtown I've ever seen. You're not quite there yet. Yeah. That's quite a ways. We'll get there. They have another ale house downtown. Oh. They have uh, they have some nice things downtown. Mm. So this is where the Cubans who think they're better than people from Hialeah live. Well, that guy definitely thought he was better. His top light. He ran a red. He's like, oh no, I'm not stopping it. This one. He didn't blow the red. The red blew him. Yeah. The red was in his way. <laughs> there was a red light in his way. I gas at this gas station one time. Yeah, I think so too. Oh boy. Well, yeah, you're driving slow. What do you think? I'm not driving slow. Oh, yeah, you are. Any moment, I'm going to throw a beer bottle here. Let me... <laughs> yeah, this is definitely better than a muerto de hambre kind of Hialeah, you know? All those muerto de hambre in Hialeah. I think if I lived in Miami area, I'd be in Miami Lakes. Like, I just feel like I'd be that much better than Hialeah. Yeah. I do like it. It seems interesting. This here? Yeah. This is where that Cancun Mexican restaurant we used to go to is. There's a road called Cowpen Road. I'm sure there's no Cowpens left at this point. <laughs> when you get to Northwest 67th, take a right. It'll be two blocks ahead. Sixty-six hundred block represent for sixty-six block. Public. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the muerto hambre in Hialeah. They could never amount to living in Miami Lakes. <laughs> this guy with glass of bunks at the end of the room. Take a ride here. I wish they could have seen this guy on the bike. Well, Miami would offer us more. Yeah, at least the internet signal. I think we're gonna have to like change our living situation. Well, when we when we when we, when we, <laughs> when we came back to Florida, we tried to find something. We couldn't even find a place down here. <laughs> we looked. Yeah. We tried. Yeah, these people are definitely better than people in Hialeah. Crap, the people in Hialeah probably... Go, 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 go. The people in Hialeah probably don't even understand what we're saying. <laughs> it's in English. They, they're probably like, what What are they talking about down there? I could live here. 
You like this crap? Well, I mean, it gives you more probably. But, you know, I would probably want to live in Fort Myers, closer to Fort Myers. Mm. Este tipo con su cacharro chorroso. No, se me atravesó el cacharro ese, ¿me? Yeah, bro. Those fancy folks out here. Yeah, they're not starving like those folks in Hialeah down there. They're, uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to build a wall. <laughs> You think I'm playing? If you look it up, they're really trying to build a wall between here and Hylia. Okay, take a right. Uh, take a right. Any right will work. This is like, it's like a circle. Right here? Yeah, I can take this one, yeah. Okay. Any of them will work because it's like a giant circle. The, 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 the downtown, and the streets kind of loop around in circles. I think Miami Springs is much nicer than this, though. So. Yeah. If I had to pick between Miami Lakes and Miami Springs, I'd almost pick Miami Springs. Miami Springs is nice. Take a right when you get a chance. Not here though. Huh? No. The next one. Yeah, the next one. Take a right. the villages for Cubans. <laughs> the, the Cuban the villages. The Cuban villages, man. I wonder what it costs to live out here. Yeah. I mean, Hialeah is, the, is expensive, so I might want to live. Uh, it, it's probably like, probably like, not, maybe like between, probably more expensive than Cape Coral, but cheaper than, than Miami. Get up to the main road, you can take a left. Not here, but further ahead. <laughs> yep. You give these people a little bit of money, they forget they used to, they, they lived in Hialeah at some point. These people forgot they used to live in Hialeah at some point. You forgot your home beginnings. Did you forget that you used to live in Hialeah, my man? Oh man, I gotta work my main man. I think I Do got I this. go through there? Are you gonna go left? Are you sure? That seems yeah. like a street. It's a street. It's a street. No doubt about it. That might be interesting up there, but whatever. Uh, So it's kind of like a circle, and then there's lakes all the way around here. There's huge lakes. So this will take us right through Miami Lakes, back towards that. Uh, so I go to the left, not straight. Yeah. Okay. If you go straight, there's shops and malls and stuff. But let's get. Okay, I get unless you. Unless you want to see it. Uh, That's their main street. If you want to see their main street, want to see their main street? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. See their main street. But then when you see it, then you can flip back around and go this way. Yeah, it just seems like something they'd want to see. Yeah, of course. It's like their main street. Kind of looks like Naples, you know what I mean? Suburban kids. Oh, they're always sounding. Go around the loop if you want. Oh, they can't go around the loop. Esta mujer walking in el medio de la calle, Sadie. Go slow. Atravesada, man. Se me atravesó. Squat. No way. Yeah. Where? You didn't see it? The blue truck. No way. Did I really see a squat truck here? It was squatted. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. I'll have to play it back. I don't believe you. It was squatted? No. Nah. Went this way? Yeah. Go chase it. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Este cacharrero. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's kind of got a squat. I told you. Yeah, it's not like a full on squat. It's not though. a full squat, but it is a squat. Yeah. It's got a little squat to it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you can take a uh, right now when you get to yeah. the room. So this is where the rich Cubans live. 
forgot her. Se le olvida que en Jayalía vivían en un edificio y men. Se les olvida que en Cuba tenían un chivo metido en adentro de la sala. Do you realize if we got an apartment out here, we'd have to get a two bedroom? Mm. I think your dad would like... We'll look those up later over there yeah. if you want to, bro. Yeah, I think your dad would want to live here. people in this area. I know, right? Well, they are moving in. They're trying to like move into this area because yeah. it's safer and whatnot. <laughs> you know the world's messed up and white people are moving to Hispanic neighborhoods. Like, man, it's nice over here. <laughs> There's nobody on me. <laughs> like, you know the world's in bad shape when Americans are moving into Hispanic neighborhoods. It's uh, There's a mess out there. Yeah. Americans moving over here like, man, I feel safe here. Chicken These kitchen. Cubans don't bother anybody other than talking loud. Mm -hmm. this, this is a, Farmer's people, market. People will be, still be driving stuff like that in Hialeah, bro. I, I can see why they, they want to have that wall. <laughs> 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 money that Corolla saved that person. I bet you they got at least eighty thousand dollars cash in the bank. I bet they got at least eighty thousand cash. They've been driving that crap since nineteen ninety six. You think I'm playing but I'm serious. Uh -huh. How much money do you think that car saved that person? A lot. All the money we we're gonna be spending every month on car payments. If they crash into somebody, it's like, well, whatever. Well, well I just get a nice new wood. <laughs> Electric vehicles driving around. I think we're almost to Hialeah. I think we're going to cross the bridge around Hialeah. And I'll show them a little bit of Hialeah so they can see the difference. So this is uh, the canal. They wanted, to, they wanted to close this right here. Obviously, it's absolutely insane that they would want to do that because it's like obviously a major doorway. But the people on this side wanted to close all these. They wanted to like, kind of like build a wall here to keep the people from that side from coming over here. But, uh, then how are they gonna get in and out? Garage sale? They don't care. They just don't want to see these poor people. <laughs> we don't care what how hard it is. We don't want to see them. So now we're gonna. I'm pretty sure that this is the. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure this is Hialeah. As soon as you cross over here. Let's see Hialeah. Yeah. Welcome to Hialeah. Hialeah Lakes. How huh? Miami Lakes. House of Fades. Even like on this side, they'd be having like, uh, like on this side, it's all like uh, Are they trying to vegan like restaurants. You cross over here, it's like House of Fades. That will fade you up. Yeah, so people on this side, they're like, we don't want nothing, nothing to do with these folks on over here. So people on East Hialeah are mad that we've done more videos. In oh, there's also a rivalry between East Hialeah and West Hialeah. I don't know if you knew that. And uh, Palms separates East Hialeah from West Hialeah. Mm -hmm. And the people on both sides of that don't get along. So there's like a rivalry between people from one side of Hialeah and the other. But my part of Hialeah is better than yours, man. Dale, mijo. They really think we're going to the Keys. Go women! Welcome to Hialeah. 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 Oh, that could be a song right there. Hialeah. Hialeah. Welcome to Hialeah. 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 These people don't have HOAs around here. So yeah, when people on that side are like, we don't want nothing to do with these folks. And we'll also do a Hialeah video, so make sure you check that out if you saw this. Check it out. 